hyperlinks, everybody's used to them now on the internet, click and it takes you somewhere. Probably not things that you would expect to see or even think about using in Excel. Well, we can add hyperlinks to any object you might have on an Excel spreadsheet. Here we have in our objects file, a little Bucati car, smiley face and an arrow. Now, if we want to make the Bucati car hyperlink to the Bucati website, then we simply right click, hyperlink, and we can choose existing file or web page, place in this document, create a new document or an email address. I'd like this to go to a website. So it's http colon slash slash bugatti.com. Or I could paste an address in here if I'd copied one onto my clipboard and then just paste it into here. When I click away, this now becomes a hyperlink that I can then click on. You can see when you hover, it says the address. And when I click, it will then start my browser and take me to bucati.com. Now we don't need to just hyperlink to the web. We can hyperlink perhaps to another location in this document, which could be quite useful for navigation. This arrow, for example, I might want that to jump me from here to this sheet here that contains my data, which would save me clicking on that tab. Or if that tab was hidden, then I wouldn't be able to do that. So we can have a hyperlink. So we can create a hyperlink navigation system. To do that, right click, hyperlink. I need to go to a place in this document. Now the place in this document must either be a cell reference or a named reference. And we've actually called the top left hand cell of that sheet, my data. Okay. And when I click away, I can click back on and we can see it jumps through to a one in my data, which happens to be my data. So I added a new sheet and called it more data 2013. Got a little bit of information in here, 2013 large number as money. And then we'll just give this cell here a name. So click into the name box, call it year data. Remember that names cannot have spaces in return to accept the name, then back to objects, and we'll make the smiley face go to the more data value, right click, hyperlink, place in this document, and you can see the names then appear in the defined names list. Or we can choose cheat tabs, for more data. So if I want to go to a specific point, I could use my named reference. If I just say, let's go to that sheet, then I can use the sheet name. So let's go to year data. Okay. Click away to effectively leave the editing. And then I've got a hand it tells me I'm going to there. So those are hyperlinks, not something you would normally expect in Excel, but it can be quite useful. We've seen we've added one to an external website, but the more useful ones are the ones going internally to other parts of this same workbook. If I need to remove a hyperlink, I simply right click the object that contains the hyperlink and I have three options now. Editing the hyperlink if it's going to the wrong place, open the hyperlink, which is the same as clicking or removing the hyperlink. So if I don't want it anymore, I simply click remove. It then gets taken off the object and the object now doesn't have a hand over it when I hover, but it's not a clickable item. But right clicking takes me then to the hyperlink option. So we can add hyperlinks to any objects that you add to a spreadsheet to jump to an external web page, an internal point within your workbook, be that a worksheet or a named cell or named range. And we can even link through to email addresses. I could put the email address in training at nybytes.co.uk subject testing Excel smiley face and then OK. Click away to deactivate and then click on. And you'll see that that will start my default email program, which is asking me what it should use. I think you should use Outlook, please. And then an empty email will start with the correct email address with the subject I placed. All I would then need to do is type a body message and press send. Hi, it's me. Send. So hopefully you will see some kind of use for these hyperlink options. Very easy to add very easy then to say where they're going an external website an email address or an internal point within this workbook